Yellowstone Volcano's extensive and unknown underground piping system revealed. Scientists have uncovered a giant underground pipe system in the Yellowstone Volcano in unprecedented detail. The findings, which are the result of a mammoth subsurface mapping task, could help answer many unanswered questions about hydrothermal activity at the supervolcano. Yellowstone sits atop a huge hotspot, an area of the Earth's crust where hot plumes emerge from the underlying mantle, resulting in volcanic activity at the surface. The first caldera forming eruption at Yellowstone occurred about 2.1 million years ago and since then there have been two other major eruptions, one about 1.3 million years ago, and another about 630,000 years ago. The region is famous for its hydrothermal activity, with more than 500 geysers. It is the largest concentration of active geysers on Earth, accounting for half of all known examples of geysers. Geologists have a fairly good understanding of the volcanic systems beneath Yellowstone's surface. The volcano has one smaller chamber located in the Earth's crust, while another, much larger reservoir resides in the lower crust, feeding the upper chamber. However, what lies between the magma chamber and the surface remains a mystery. Researchers led by Carol Finn, of the U.S. Geological Survey, Denver, spent weeks flying helicopters over Yellowstone to develop a view of the plumbing system that controls and facilitates hydrothermal activity. They fly helicopters with 80-foot-wide electromagnetic circles dangling beneath them. Water is much better at conducting electricity than rock, so the circle was able to detect variations between wet and dry rock. Helicopters were flown back and forth across the park to measure electrical conductivity and magnetic properties, resulting in a picture of the piping system. These findings were published in the journal Nature. This is the first survey conducted on a large active hydrothermal system. So we were very excited when we saw the first pictures in Old Faithful that showed that our experiment had been successful that we could see the liquid and the clay that was inside. Has long been concluded, we were surprised at how extensive the pipe system is, how clearly we can describe it and distinguish signals from cold and hot fluids, as well as the existence of gaps in the pipe system in the center of Yellowstone. In addition, we were surprised that we could find many areas of clay and this marks the top of the vertical channel for the hot liquid. The results show hot hydrothermal fluid rising almost vertically from a depth of about 3,000 feet before reaching the main hydrothermal field. This fluid mixes with groundwater from within and beneath the lava flow. Water from heavy rainfall in Yellowstone was able to penetrate a depth of about 3 miles along many faults in the region, Finn said. This water is heated by deep magma and returns to the surface through fractures to the surface and spreads horizontally along the gaps between the stacks of lava flows that cover the park. This unique setting results in a dynamic and fantastic hydrothermal feature in the park. Surface. In total, the experiments generated more than 2,500 miles of helicopter trails. In a statement, study co-author Stephen Holbrook, of Virginia Tech, said the dataset is so large that we have only scratched the surface. The data obtained will help scientists answer many unknowns about Yellowstone's geology and hydrology, as well as the microbiology in the system hydrothermal. This can provide insight into water and lava flows, estimate eruption volumes, and better understand hydrothermal explosions, which are a hazard in national parks. In the future, integration of our model with new, deeper electromagnetic sensing data offers the possibility of delineating the relationship between shallow and deep hydrothermal and magma systems in Yellowstone, Finn said.